are Circus Ampurian, and we have an amazing show for you tonight. You will not soon forget the performance you are about to see. We are going to delve into the mysteries of physics to bring you the ultimate experience, seldom realized in these jaded times. If you did not already know, this sinister looking device is a Tesla coil invented by Nikola Tesla in 1891. It converts normal household current of 120 volts and boosts it to 500,000 volts. Let's see what it can do. Nikola Tesla had a dream. His dream was to power the world wirelessly. He was somewhat successful with this. He built a coil in Colorado Springs that jumped sparks up to 135 feet long. He apparently was, an, was able to illuminate lights 26 miles from the source absolutely wirelessly. We are going to demonstrate this for you tonight. We need four brave volunteers. Okay, you. Go ahead. Yeah. So what we need you to do is hold them straight up into the air. Do not point them at the coil. <laughs> Um, if you guys can get a little bit closer on this side. Yeah, just, that should work. Let's try. Move a little bit that way. Just a little bit that way, all of you. Like right in front of the coil. Yeah, step a little bit, there you go. Thank you, volunteers. Not even an injury tonight. That is rare, believe it or not. <laughs> well, after Nikola Tesla invented the Tesla coil, there were shows that were popping up all over the country. There was a woman named Electrice, and she came up with all kinds of ways to use high-voltage electricity. She figured out how to turn electrical energy into romantic energy. Ladies and gentlemen, the electric kiss. Well, if you thought that was hot, it's about to get hotter, because now we're going to convert electrical energy into fire.
So what else should I do, you guys? Any suggestions? <laughs> Not that extreme, come on. What I can do is stand on top of the Tesla coil. All right, I think we'll go with that one. You guys all know how a Tesla coil operates, of course. And you're, you're, familiar with, you're familiar with Maxwell's third equation? Well, um, this Tesla coil feeds the electrons into a mic up here on the top. And uh, before Mike was up there, there wasn't, a, there wasn't very much room for these electrons to go into. So it didn't have to send very many of them up but now there's more room for the electrons to take up, so we have to push more of them up. So we have to add more capacitors down in the bottom full of electrons. I think that's right, isn't it? Sounds right. Okay.
Gentlemen.